In acoustics, we think about the decay of sound in rooms, and we divide that decay into two parts. The first part, which is dominated by reflections, and the second half of the decay, which is your diffuse reverberant decay. In the early reflections, we want strong direct sound, and we want the level of that direct sound strong compared to the reverberant decay. We also want those reflections to be lateralized, coming from the sides to enhance envelopment. The decay needs to be in tonal balance with the lows and the mids balanced in their rates of decay, with the low being longer than the highs. One of the things that's fun about the audio and acoustic industry is we love three-letter acronyms or short, catchy phrases that often lose their meaning. I'm not sure what immersive audio means. Multi-channel audio, surround sound audio, dot one audio, dot two audio, dot four audio. What does immersive really mean? Sound being generated is intended to envelop the audience similarly to the way that traditional concert halls tried to make symphonic music around your body. I like to say that you're swimming in the sound, that you feel carried away by the sound, that you can sort of float, and that if you shut your eyes and you point, you don't point at the loudspeaker that you're listening to, you point at the musicians making the sound. It's a wonderful test for listening, for critical listeners. When I listen in recording studios, I often shut my eyes and try to get this image, the sound stage, the sound feel. Audiophiles are very familiar with this idea, but it's much less commonly talked about in live sound concert events. And that's because we've had a hard enough time getting good coverage, getting sound off the walls, getting sound to the air, different areas at close to the same spectral density and the same volume levels. So what the next step is, is a set of tools, probably a combination of software and hardware, that allow someone to enhance the left-right stereo experience to provide acoustical enhancement, different reverbs, different room types, different sounds that not only act in one dimension, but draw the audience to the performer. That's what immersive is.